The first thing about economic growth is that it's a good thing. Economic growth means we get richer. That means we can afford to buy more stuff. And I don't mean material goods. It's made possible better educational standards, better health care. It's enabled us to provide social provision. It's enabled us to fund literature and the arts and culture. You can spend it on whatever you think worthwhile, but it's growth that enables you to do that. No growth, no extra resources, no increased spending. Some people say there are limits to growth. You can't keep the economy growing forever. We won't have enough energy, they say. We won't have enough zinc, manganese, titanium, whatever. Wrong. There's enough energy in shale gas alone to keep us going for 200 years, but we're developing other, cleverer sources of energy. We're clever. We can think up new and cleverer ways of doing things. As for resources, you have to ask an economist's question. Is the rate at which we can extract them from the ground greater or less than the rate at which we're using them? And the answer is, if it's greater, then they're becoming more plentiful, not less. How would you know? You look at the long-term price. They're going down. They're becoming relatively more plentiful. Our ability to get new supplies is increasing faster than the rate at which we're using them. So no shortage of energy, no shortage of resources. People say, well, couldn't we all live more simply? Weren't we happier when we were going to and fro in farm carts and when we were happily dancing round the maple? No. People were dying of overwork and old age at the age of 32. Half of children were not surviving infancy. Half of mothers were dying in childbirth. It was rife with disease, poverty, starvation and misery. And guess what enabled us to climb out of that economic growth? Growth is what enables us to have opportunities, to, to expand our lives, to, to gain more chances of fulfilment. Should we all live more simply? No, let's all live more cleverly. Let's make our resources go further. Further. Let's increase our productivity by making more efficient use of the resources we have. Let's make our energy cleaner. Let's all drive vehicles, planes and cars and ships that leave smaller footprint on the planet. That takes cleverness and we've got that in plenty. Now some people say, oh, don't we have enough already? Who could possibly want more? Yeah, we could want more. We could want more education, better healthcare, better culture and the arts. In the 1950s, you know how millionaires lived? They had cars outside their homes. They had telephones inside their houses. They took foreign holidays. 50 years later, that's how ordinary people are living. And in the 2050s, ordinary people will be living at the standard of today's millionaires with the same chances and the same opportunities. And guess what? It's economic growth that enables that and makes it possible. Economic growth is a good thing. Madsen Perry attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.